actually do only have 2k on Octane. Come on, bro. What the fuck? God. Oh, why did my frames just drop like that? That was a fat ass frame shield. Bitch. Charging up my shield. Oh fuck. I'm gonna cancel out. Looks like an awkward angle. Charging up my shields. Team. I'm padding off because they're trying to land on me. Fire. 
I'm, I'm about to go on a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a tangent. Not flaming casual players, but just because I'm just, I get confused by the night. So, casual players hate the two pump meta, right? They hate two pumping, but they don't like the Eva either because the Eva's spammy. Right? And then they're like, you gotta buff the PK because it's not fun to use. You can't, you know, like it feels bad. And it's like, okay, but you didn't like the two pump meta with the Mastiff. So why is the two pump meta with the PK any better? And it's just, it's just confusing. Well, that's not the only thing. It's like, casual players want the game to be balanced around them, right? But if a pro player has an input, they're like the devil. And if there's anything in the game that's specifically for a pro player or to like, you know, be there for the really top tier players, then that's also bad for casuals. Everything has to be in the game for casuals, right? But we can't have our own thing because no, that's bad. But you guys can have your thing. I don't know. I was thinking about it the other day. It's just like it's a really backwards, like fucked up thought process that I don't understand. Like people, like when I was talking about rank, people were like, but, but we don't have 10 hours a day to grind to get this rank. And it's like, okay, then you don't, you don't deserve it. You know, like masters, predators, and for everybody, right? That's the one thing that's in the game for us, for the top players. It's not meant to be for everybody. It's like the one thing in the game that's for us. Everything else is for you guys. I also understand what's wrong with having something for us. I just don't understand why it's such a frowned upon thing. Because everything else in the game is for the casuals. The pros don't have like as much influence on balance as you guys think they do. It's like when a character's nerfed or a weapon's nerfed or changes happen to the game, I can almost guarantee you a pro had no say in it. One more minute, amigo. Hello. So close. Ooh, nailed that whole squad. Final two. Charging shields. There's way more casuals. I know. Right? I, I understand that there's more casuals. Right? So obviously you want things in the game to cater for, for the vast, you know, the majority population, right? But what's wrong with having things in the game that cater towards the top 1%? I don't think there's any downside. I mean, I understand my perspective on that is um, until the ring closes. because I'm in the top like 1%. Close, huh? I take that. But it's like, you guys have stuff for you. Why Why don't? Why isn't this stuff just for us, too? Like, in ranked ladders, like, not everyone is supposed to be, you know, Predator or Masters. That's not how it is in other games. Like, you know, like... Great. Already inside the ring. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to Yo, see a rank reset. Check out that care package. Really? I guess that's the whole point of my tangent. Is every time I've brought up a rank reset, I get jumped on by casuals that are like, But Mr. Streamer, I don't have 10 hours a day to put into the game to get masters. How am I supposed to get it? And it's like, you're, you're not. That's the point. You're not like, it's not intended for, for everybody in like a real rank system. Like look at League of Legends, look at Counter-Strike, look at Overwatch, you know? You don't see, um, you don't see the people that put in like two hours a day, just like competing with the best of the best, right? Like that's not how it's supposed to be. Because it's like, if you guys are in the same lobby as us, like you're just not, you're not gonna have fun. And people seem to think that pros want a. Uh, you are the Apex champions. I see a lot of people that think that pros want a rank reset so that we can farm bronze lobbies for a day, but it's like, dude, literally the way that matchmaking in this game works, um, is like, say everyone is reset to bronze four, right? Hypothetically, say everyone gets reset to bronze four. All the people that are, you know, quote unquote, getting farmed by pros are going to stay bronze four for maybe three hours, maybe. Not even because pros will get to bronze one almost instantly, like within like within like an hour or two, pros will get to bronze one, maybe even into silver. Right. And then like the pros will be out of your lobby. It's that quick. 
like uh, a lot of casuals seem to think that we just want to farm bronze lobbies when it's the opposite we want ranks to be non-inflated so that we're actually playing against people at our skill level because ranked right now is super boring like super super boring it's full of people that just ddos the lobbies or like this is the ranked experience right now Reckless and that's why i haven't been playing ranked. <laughs> Let's go. you either queue up for a game and then sit in queue for 10 minutes to get ddos you queue up Extending to and then you There's play a game and yes. there are six teams on zone two and then you're playing hide and seek like a glorified pub and it's like if people want rank to actually be your champion and mean something then there has to be a reset because like we're 10 seasons deep man the, the ranked ladder is so inflated. i'm the jump master it's so time. inflated Looks fun over there. And there's less and less pro players playing ranked right now because of how I'm played Here we go. because it's Ready just up. not fun. It's not challenging. It's just like, all right, I'm going to go play for eight hours and gain 3k RP and then just like, sit around and do nothing. So it's not like gratifying. Like Looks like we're going to And I understand casuals like want to be able to... I understand casuals want to be like included and like be able to play in master and pro lobbies, but like that's just like you can't. Recharging my shields. If you want rank to still have good quality games and be fun. Because you guys just like you're not at the skill level. Like your rank can get inflated and you'll be in master or whatever, but that doesn't mean that you belong there. Like right now in ranked, I think there's only like, I'd say the vast majority of masters and diamond players do not belong there. Like I think most people, like most diamond players, are probably like gold level. Don't even get me started on the people that get get masters and then just sit 10 KRP in WQ lobbies. Those people are fucking degenerates. Because they just make the quality even worse. Because they don't know how to play the game. They just get their, so they get their RP goal and then they just like start running it down. Because they know that they'll never reach top 500. It's like a really boring way to play. Reloading. That was the last one. Nice work. Nice kill. Under fire. Why is my shotgun not pulling out? One minute. Yeah, but then you close. go from plat to diamond and the players get worse. This is the problem. Like, pro players solo from like bronze to masters all the time. And everyone that I've asked, diamond is like your teammates are suddenly just like drooling on themselves in diamond. That's what I mean by the ranks being inflated. Yeah. Like those people in Diamond that just have no ready. right being 30 there. Thirty seconds left. Picked up our teammates' banner. We've got company. What in the hell happened in this corner, bro? Like the way to fix rank. The way to fix rank is super simple. Heads up. But I know that casuals won't like it. This is all you have to do. Once you're in Platinum, you no longer have the motion protection. That's it. From di from Platinum onwards, if you, like, obvi obviously, like, if you just get promoted to Platinum, right, you have, like, you know, two games of safety net. You have, like, a two-game safety net. So if you go negative twice, your third game, like, that's your third strike. You go negative again, you're out. You're out of Plat. So you drop back to Gold. Same thing for Diamond. Heads up. So like say like I'm like 6k RP right or like what what does diamond start at 7k 
7200? Okay. Sam at 7250, right? I lose my next game. I drop the 7200. I then have three games. So my next two games, I die off spawn. My third game, if I lose this game, I will get demoted. Now what that will do is I will encourage people to play seriously. And play smarter and not just WQ and actually, you know, play to win. It makes you want to, to, to stay positive, right? Because right now, right, the current system is like, yeah, like, okay, you want to win, right? But, like, if you lose, does it matter? Not really. There has to be, you know, there has to be something on the line rather than just a number that you don't care about. Boy, what? That shit is the worst Bangalore smoke. Reloading. Need to recharge my shields. Okay, I was playing that some pretty decent game. When the diamond rank is not fun, I just know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. Because you're not at that skill level. Like if you just like If you get all the way to diamond when like you don't deserve to be there, you're just gonna get rolled on repeat. And because you can't demote. You're going to be stuck in Diamond on, 4 and your rank experience up. is going to be on, miserable on, because you're literally just getting rolled by players that play the game for a living. Whereas if the game has like proper ranks, you know, a proper rank system just where you can demote and shit like that, you'll always be against your skill level. Now, obviously the problem arises where people can, you know, demote on purpose and shit like that and like pretty much like reverse boost. But like, I think the positives outweigh the negatives. There's people that do that people that would do that are going to be a minority. Hello. That was the last one. Set the portal. Okay, relax. You watch way too many YouTube videos and you don't know how to do the movement. You sat here the whole game waiting for someone to push you and they did and you messed up your movement. Good to see it, buddy. Recharging my shields. Do you get DDoS on console? Console is the reason that DDoSing is happening. I'm not like I'm not just saying that to like flame console players, so please don't take it that way. But before crossplay was enabled on PC, DDoSing was not a thing on PC. That is a console player thing. Console players DDoS. PC, we we just get aimbotted. At least we can fight the cheaters on PC. Console cheaters are a different breed of degenerate because they just hit the server offline. And it's like, okay, dude, like, you know, like it's just fucking lame. Catch, bitch. Like if you DDoS, like you're just a fucking loser. Like at least normal cheaters, they like let you fight, right? But like a DDoSer is just a fucking pussy. if they could on console DDoS is the next best thing I know but the problem you the problem are the apex is champ that one has counterplay you can counterplay an aimbotter or someone who instantly dumps their mag you can at least kill them right but a DDoS are like like oh I'm gonna play some ranked fucking apex oh oh I'm on the main menu now oh, okay and then you got to reconnect and you're like oh I'm dead and then you also get minus 120 RP because you disconnected. 